Praise the Lord. You're listening to Contend for the Faith broadcast. This is your host, Evangelist Sabrina White. Today, we're going to talk about the gospel of grace. Yes, Jesus' gospel of grace. Our text will be found, Acts the 20th chapter, the 24th verse, and it reads, this is Paul talking, by the way, it reads, but none of these things moved me, neither count my life dear unto myself so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Again, you're listening to Continue for the Faith broadcast. We appreciate Pastor White, the family there, and the First Lady, dear First Lady, Donna White and the family there at Emmanuel. We appreciate KDIV 98.7 and Mr. Bransfield. Hey, we just thank the Lord for so many blessings, so much support, so much love. The word must go forth as never before in these dark, sinful times. Having said that, let's grace the throne of God. Lord, we come before you in the precious name of Jesus. We thank you for your love and your grace and your kindness. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for how you died on the cross for our sins. Lord, had you not died, we will be lost to eternal damnation. We thank you for redeeming us by your blood. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your atoning blood. We thank you right now for how you suffered. We thank you for how you suffered, bled, and died on that cross we thank you for your powerful uh resurrection how how they how you died <laughs> they buried you just like you said and you rose on the third day you kept your word just like you said and you did this to bring eternal life for the whole entire human race and we thank you for it only you can forgive sins jesus only you can redeem us and bring us out only you can break the hold of sin on our mind and our soul only you can change us hallelujah what spiritual transformation that you give to the soul to the sinner that truly want you we live in times when people are warning so much. But I believe today in this broadcast that there is someone that wants you. Holy Ghost, do what you do. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> amen. Let's get the word. The gospel of grace is built on Jesus Christ himself. Uh, the word let us know that the word became flesh. And dwelt among us. What are you saying? God came from his throne. Wrapped himself in flesh. Dwelt among us. Died. Bled. Suffered, bled, and died. And rose again the third day. That is the gospel. What you say? The gospel means good news. That God can save sinners. And when I say God, when you hear me say God, I am talking about Jesus himself. He came to redeem men from their sin. Man is by nature sinful and separated from God with no hope of re remedying his own situation. But we see the power of Jesus Christ providing men, means for man's redemption. Through his death, through his burial and resurrection, Jesus did this. Hallelujah. So the Apostle Paul was commissioned by Jesus to proclaim the good news of God's grace. As we read in Acts 20, 24. We know that in Matthew 28, 19, Jesus gave his 12 disciples, well, 11 at the time, actually, a commission to go ye into all the world 
and baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. He told them and gave them this commission to start at Jerusalem. And that name that he gave them and charged them with was none other than the name of himself. And then Peter opened his day, mouth on the day of Pentecost. He told them to repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? For the remission of your sin. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. There we see we have water and spirit. The same thing that Jesus told Nicodemus. This is nothing new. Jesus told Nicodemus. Nicodemus comes to him by night. And see, he, and Jesus began to expound to him. He, Nicodemus said, you must be sent from God. No one can speak the things you speak. Except that the God be with them. Jesus cut straight to the point. Except the man is born of water and spirit. They cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So we see here in Acts 2.38. That big old feast that was going on called Pentecost. The Feast of Weeks. We see how Jesus talks about. How Peter brought up what Jesus had already taught them about the gospel of the kingdom, the gospel of grace. Amen. So here we see that Jesus willingly laid down his life for everyone. Yet millions are seeking a non-offensive sugar-coated gospel that does not require one to stop sinning and follow Jesus. Jesus said, you have to take up your cross and follow me. Even in that, he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We will never suffer. We will never have to uh, die on the cross again. Jesus went through that. He had done the first works of that already. That work has been finished on the cross. That redemption work, that redeeming work, that atoning work. That appeasing and justific justification of work has already been done. Now we're living where Jesus' grace of salvation is now offered to everyone. Uh, though we see that many, and we live in darkness and many men's me deeds are very evil in this time. It was evil before. It has grossed wax worse and worse and worse. Uh, Romans 6, 23 tell us for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So Paul has given the ministry to proclaim the good news. Why? What is the good news? I am lost in my sin. No, no, no. The good news is that you can be free. You can be free. You can be washed of all that from your soul. You can be free and transformed by the Holy Ghost. You can be washed in water through the baptism in Jesus' name, having Jesus applied to your soul. Hallelujah. The Bible describes our spiritual condition, everyone. According to Romans 3, 23, it has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Even morally good people need to be saved. Look at Acts, the 10th chapter, Cornelius. There's a man in there called Cornelius, a devout man. One that feared Jesus with all his, well, feared God with all his house. And Peter came and preached unto him. Him, that this God is Jesus has been exalted. Now every knee will bow and every tongue will con confess that Jesus is Lord. He can be Lord over your life today. So being a good person like Cornelius was, that gave much alms to the people. Amen. He prayed. Even an angel spoke with him. But being religious is not enough. Doing good works is can't get you into heaven. You have to be washed 
repent of your sins. You have to repent of your sins. You have to turn away from your sins. You have to be baptized in the name of Jesus. You have to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Why? What are you saying? That is the that is grace within itself. His unmerited favor. Out of love, the Father has provided. I'm talking about grace. Has provided his son. He sent Jesus to die that you and I can have eternal life. St. John 3, 16, 1 John 4, 9, because Jesus loved us. He made a propitiation for our sin. A propitiation is what? Why? Well, it is a sacrifice designed to appease the wrath of God. Therefore, Jesus has offered, therefore, God has offered his son a sacrifice designed to appease himself. So out of justice, the father has provided his son, which is holy, <laughs> without sin, without blame, to satisfy his, ju his justice, sin must be punished by God, but because of Jesus dying on the cross and shedding his redemptive blood, you and I can be now made free. <laughs> That's the good news of the gospel of grace. We didn't deserve it. <laughs> we should have been dying for what we willingly did. We didn't want Jesus. We didn't want to, nothing to do with him. The Lord called us out into the into his grace, out of darkness, into his marvelous life, into his his favor for us to sit at his table and dine with him for us to sit in with him in heavenly places and this is all done through the death of his cross through his blood now that you've been baptized in the name of Jesus you're a recipient a candidate of all the promises all the blessings that Jesus has provided for you through his death Jesus justice required that he died. God justice required that Jesus would, there would be a sacrifice and Jesus gave himself as a sacrifice. Well, who is the recipient of this grace? Well, receiving Jesus grace requires obedience. Jesus is the author source of eternal salvation to all who obey. Well, what is it that I have to do? Well, freedom from sin comes when one is willingly uh, desire to obey Jesus, believing, trusting in Jesus who died on the cross for your sins, repenting, which means to turn from your sin, repenting with earnest, godly sorrow, resolving to no longer live in sin. And that's why it's so important to have the power and the joy and the peace and the comfort of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> the Acts 1 and 8 say, ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. So it's so important to receive the Holy Ghost. And I tell you, when your soul receives the Holy Ghost, it changes, it transforms. Form and from out of darkness into his marvelous light. Many get baptized, but they fail to get the power, the keeping power, the transforming power of the Holy Ghost. Then remain faithful. Uh, 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 remain faithful to Jesus by obeying him in love, uh, treating people right, sharing your faith. Uh, uh, to others to bring them in also to be an example as a believer. I know so many are saying that they're Christians because they have received this watered down uh, gospel that they can eat and drink and be merry. They can do whatever they want and Jesus accept that. Just give him your heart. Just tell him that, uh, that, that you're sorry. Repeat the sinner's prayer, but it's far more greater than that. 
all you have to do today. I've preached the gospel to you. Now it is in your hands to receive Jesus as your God, your Lord, your King. Hallelujah. Receive him as Lord over your life. Ah, have you been, uh, been washed of your sins through the name of Jesus, according to Acts 2.38. If you desire further studies, to uh, contact Pastor White at 501 You have been listed to continue for the faith broadcast. This has been your host, Evangelist Sabrina White.